Good evening guys, welcome back, welcome back with the additional, the additional with the uh, extra puzzles in uh, today's newspaper on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, August the 6th, uh, 2024 and I've already solved uh, three puzzles, the uh, three star Sudoku, four star Sudoku and a binary and it's time now for the Jigsaw Sudoku, Jigsaw Sudoku number 9042. Before I start, I always kind of print the digits. Let me do this. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 printed digits. Could be the hard one, could be the easy one. I think it's a hard one. Uh, but the hard one says always 8, 9, or 10 printed digits. Well, the publisher has indicated uh, with a 4 stars. And for 4 stars puzzle, I need 30 minutes or more. Is this really a 4 stars puzzle? We don't know. We will see. So let's get started. First question to you is, can we see here the single box or boxes? Because the single box is always a one. Here a single box, there a single box, always a one. Next question, do we have here duo boxes? Contains the one and the two, well, we have only one duo box. The one and the two, well, I do not know in which order, so let me mark those two boxes. How about triple boxes then? Let me see for triple boxes. No triple boxes in this puzzle. How about quarter boxes? I see here one quarter box. Cannot fill this yet. Insufficient information right now. Then, my next strategy is to look for shapes, figures, structures, or constructions that you need to recognize. For example, this shape. Let me uh, draw the shape here. When you see this kind of shape, remember, remember that this box has the same number as that box so this box has the same number as that box okay do we have more of these kind of shapes let me check 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 no only one then the following shape how about the z or the s construction let me draw this here when you see the z or the s construction remember remember if you rotate this to the right you will get the z and when you have the z and you mirror this or flip this you will get the s well this one, remember that this box has the same number as that box, so this box has the same number as that box. Uh, so in this case, it's a 1 here. But also, that box has the same number as this box. So that box has the same number as this box. So that box has the same number as this box. Alright, we have only one Z construction. How about the T shape? Let me draw the T-shape here. When you see the T-shape, remember, remember that this box has the same number as that box. So this box has the same number as that box. But also that box has the same number as this box. And that box has the same number as this box. T-shape. Here, another T-shape. This box. It's the same number as that box, and that box has the same number as this box. In this case, it's a 1 or a 2 there. Here, another T-shape. This box has the same number as that box, and that box has the same number as this box. Then, we have more T-shapes. No, then the following shape, how about um, this shape? No. Yeah, let me uh, draw this shape again. This, this shape. When you see this kind of shape. Remember, remember. That this box has the same number as that box. So this box has the same number as that box. Here, another one. Rotate it. This box has the same number as that box. We have more. No. Then the following shape. How about this shape then? When you see this kind of shape, remember, remember that this box has the same number as that box. And this box has the same number as that box. So in this case, it's a 2 here. Do we have more of these kind of shapes? Let me check, check, check. No, only one. And the final shape, the L shape, upside down. Let me draw the L shape here. When you see the L shape. Remember, remember 
that this box has the same number of step ups. So this box has the same number of step ups. And those are the shapes that you need to recognize in this puzzle. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six. Maximum, maximum of six. Max six shapes, figures, structures, constrictions, whatever you name it. Uh, maximum six. Uh, and in this puzzle, we have all the shapes. And the question is why you need to recognize those shapes. Well, then the following step, it's easy for filling those numbers. So let's get started filling those numbers. These two boxes can be one. These two boxes can be two. So the one and two goes in those two boxes as a pair. One and two, one and two. This box is connected with that box. So we saw one and two. That means two numbers left. We have here a pair. The other pair should be the three and the four. Three and the four. Here yeah, also two numbers left. The other pair should be four and a five. Mm. Okay. Then let me see. These two boxes can be one, so the one could be here, could be there. Uh, that means that this box can be a one, but also those two boxes can be one. We have a double one there. So the only place left for the one in this area is supposed to be here. Now we have one there, so this box can be one and more. That box should be a one. Uh, this box can be one. That box can be one. So the one could be here, could be there. These two boxes can be five. So the five could be here, could be there. This box cannot be a five. We have a double five there. But this box can also not be a three. So three and a five goes in those two boxes as a pair. So one digit left in this area for number four. These two boxes can be four. So one box left for the four in this area is supposed to be here. Four and a five, we have four now, no four there. Four should be here, five goes there. Two numbers left in this area, four numbers three and five. Let me mark those, three and five, three and five. Uh, these two boxes can be one. That box can be one, so one box left for the one in this area. It's supposed to be here. Uh, these two boxes can be two, so the two could be here, could be there. That means that those two boxes can be two, we have a two here. But also this this box can be two. We have a double two there. If you place two here, I can fill any two in one of those two boxes. So the only place level two in this area is supposed to be here. And I've eliminated here the five. So the five goes there. Two numbers left in this area. Four numbers one and four. One and four. Mark those two boxes all the way to two. We have a two now. So this box can be two and more. That box should be a two. Uh, then, 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 let me think, think, think. These are three boxes, so round the five can be a five. So one box left of the five in this area is supposed to be here. These are three boxes, so round the five can be five. So the five could be here, could be there. Uh, then, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hmm. Well, this box can be two. This box can be a one. But it's also connected with that box. So here can be one, the two, can be three, can be four. So one that you left should be the five then. It's connected with that box, should be so five. And this one is connected with that box, should be so five. Two numbers left in this area from us three and the four. We have a three there, no three there. Three should be here. All goes there. These two boxes can be four. So one box left for the four in this area is supposed to be here. Two numbers left in this area for numbers three and a five. We have three there. No three there. Three should be in a five goes and there. One and a four. We have a four now. No four there. Four should be here. And a one goes there. I think this box should be a three because it can be one. It can be two. It should be three. It can be four. It can be five. Yes, definitely three. Two numbers left now in this area from us. One and a four. One and a four is connected with that box. So we one and a four is connected with that box. So we saw one and a four. This box can be three. That box can be three. So one box level three in this T shape area is supposed to be there. Two numbers left in this L shape area from us. One and a two. One and a two. We have a two there. So no two there. Two should be here and one goes there. One or four. We have a one here. So this box should be a four. And that box should be a one. Is connected with that box should be so one is also connected with this box should be also a one. Alright. 
Then two numbers left in this T-shaped area for numbers two and the four. We have two there, no two there. Two should be in the four goes there. It's connected with that box. Should be also four. It's also connected with this box. Should be also four. It's also connected with this box. Should be also a four. Two numbers left in this area. For numbers one and the five. Uh, sorry, one and the three. Well, one and three. I cannot fill this yet. Let me more wait. These two boxes can be four. So the four could be here, could be there. Uh, this box can be five. That box can be five. So the five could be here, could be there. Hmm. These two boxes can be one. So the one could be here, could be there. We already have a one there. So here can be one anymore. That box should be a one. All right. These two boxes can be one. That box can be one. So one box left with one in this area. It's supposed to be here. Then, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Two. Need to think now. This box can be two. So two could be here. Could be there. Three could be everywhere. Hmm. I need to wait, 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 wait. One and two. Wow, one and a two, we already have one there, so no one there, one should be here, two goes there. It's connected with that box, so one, one or two, we have one now, so this box should be a two, it's connected with that box, so two, one box left in this area for number one, three and four, okay, hmm. One, two, hmm. well, 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 well. One and a three, three and a five. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two oh eight three. Um, I need to think now. Think hard. Two. This box can be three, so the three could be here, could be there. Mm, one, three. This box can be a five. We have a double five there, so the five could be here, could be there then. Well. Hmm. It means that this box can be five. Five could be in one of these three boxes. Okay. Hmm. Hard part, the hard part. Uh, yeah. Three or four. Need to trigger those numbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here can be five. Of course not. Five should be in one of these three boxes. I'm stuck here. Can be five, 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 five. One, need two here. Yeah, I need two. This box, these three boxes could be a two. So here we have two and a three. Not a four here. If I place a four here, this box should be also a four, but we already have four here. So this should be three and a two. Well, we have a three there. So this box should be a two then. Is connected with that box, so we show two. Here, I've eliminated here the four, so the four goes there, and I've eliminated here the five, so the five goes here. So, one that's left in this T shape area for number three. One and three, we have three now, no three there. Three should be here, and one goes there. Three and five, we have three now, no three there. Three should be here, five goes there. Three and five, we have three now, no three there. Three should be here, five goes there. Well, and now two, no, three and a five. We have a three here, so no three there. Three should be here. Five goes there. All right. These two boxes. So I know five can be five. Five could be here, could be there. I think this box should be a four because it can be one. Can be two, can be three. Should be four, can be five. Yes, definitely four. Then I think this box should be a two because it can be one. Should be two, can be three, can be four, can be five. Yes, definitely two. It's connected with that box. Should be so two. Well... I think this box should be one because it can be two, can be three, can be four, can be five. Yes, definitely one. Two numbers left for numbers three, five and a two, five and a two. Uh, 
uh, then I think this box should be a two because it can be one. Should be two, can be three, can be four, can be five. Yes, definitely two. So two numbers left in this area for numbers three and a five, three and a five. Um, well, now I need to think. Three and four. Double three, double five here. Uh, mm, three, three, four. Yeah, one, two. I need to think here. I need to think. Come on, come on. Ah, two and a five. Overlook this two. We have a two there. No, no two there. Two should be here and a five goes there. Okay, this box can be five, so the five could be here, could be there. Now we have a double five there. That means that this box can be five in the wall. That box should be a five. And one box left in this area for number three. Three and a four, we have a three now. No three there. Three should be here. Four goes there. All right. Now, I think this box should be a five because it can be one, can be two, can be three, can be four. Yes, definitely five. Uh, two numbers left in this Z construction for number four and a three. We have a three there, no three there. Three should be and a four goes there. These two boxes can be three, so one box left for three in this quadra box should be supposed to be there. Two numbers left for numbers one and a four. We have a four there, no four there. Four should be and a one goes there. Finish in 16 minutes. Well, we solve it again. Not faster than 15, not a 4, not a 3. Let me give this a 2. And faster than 20 minutes. So I'm well, well pleased with the time. And I like this one. So we do the thing. So thumbs up, otherwise thumbs down. You can also download this PDF file so you can make it all by yourself. Thank you again for watching. See you tomorrow. So have a great and fantastic Tuesday. Until then, bye-bye for now.